This is a rare byway with a Pulitzer Prize winning novel inspired about its culture. Marjorie Kennan Rollins was so intrigued by the area and the local crackers that she moved here in the 1930s. For two years, she spent time on Pat's Island and in Astor and Volusia, listening to stories that would eventually become part of her novel, The Yearling. Richard Mills grew up in the area, became a forester in the Ocala, and retired here. He remembers Marjorie. But anyway, when Marjorie Rollins ended up, she was a New Yorker, or that is, and a man told me, when I told him all she did, he said, I can't, that's not the same woman. She wore white gloves, she wore high heel shoes. She was an office lady. Well, I, I wonder about that, because she went native, that's for sure. Then, of course, she met this bootlegger, Leonard Fitty. He took her to Pat's Island, and he introduced her to the Long, Cow Long. Cow Long then tells her all these stories, then he told her about the pet deer, and that did it. That's what she was looking for. 